Hi guys, Jeremy with Four Sons Off-Road. So just wanted to do a uh, quick little video for you guys today. I always try to pass off as much information on these mini trucks as we can. And uh, so today I've got a truck in the shop. This is a truck that we're doing up for a customer. It's a 2002 Suzuki Carry. This is a DA62T model. Now, what I wanted to feature today was the difference between a DB52 and the DA62, because looking at them from the outside, um, you know, at first glance, you wouldn't really think there would be much different. But, uh, so I just wanted to go over some of the uh, upgrades for you. So in uh, mid-2001, Suzuki upgraded to the D, D, from the DB52 to the DA62. And uh, the main upgrade was the little sticker on the front hood that says Suzuki and it's black. But no, no, just kidding. There's uh, more upgrades than that. But again, body-wise, to look at this thing, there's really not much that sets it apart other than that little black nose trim uh, from a DB52. Um, but there are a few things, and let's just uh, go over a few. So on the exterior, uh, Suzuki actually, on the DA62, they actually upgraded uh, some of the steel that they use. They upgraded the rust proofing on the door specifically, and on the... Uh, cargo bed. Now the cargo bed they actually uh, run a, it's like it's a seamless galvanized uh, bed floor on these things and I mean this is a 15 year old truck and I mean this bed floor is immaculate like I mean so they definitely are holding up. Body and doors wise same thing I mean this is a really clean low mile truck but uh, they're really doing a good job of cutting down on corrosion on these trucks and they kept increasing that as the uh, as the years went on and the models allowed. Now, interior wise is another one of the major differences that you can notice right away, uh, just by looking at it, is the new dash. So the DA62 runs a uh, little different uh, interior setup than the DB52. Now, I mean, take, or, take it or leave it, it's, uh, it's an improvement, but uh, you know, that's definitely one of those things. This. Uh, Slight improvements on you know, this is a KU special So it's got the uh, kind of fancier door trim panels on it and stuff, which is uh, kind of a nice touch um, Seats are the same shape this one's actually got the fabric on the seats Which is really nice because it that vinyl it always kind of cracks up on it Mechanically the very similar like they didn't do any massive mechanical updates on this truck uh, Sorry like body wise uh, other than uh, that interior back window still the smaller window and that sort of thing so the major upgrade on the uh, DA62 over a DB52 is the engine the uh, DA62's uh, run the K6A engine which is a new engine from Suzuki for uh, for the DA62 um, quite a few improvements here that one of the major ones that everybody looks for is the timing chain uh, which they went, it's a, it's a twin cam engine, they went to a timing chain instead of a timing belt just for uh, reliability as well as emissions, that's kind of why they kept making the improvements. And they have moved a few things around in here, if you're familiar with the uh, engine bay of a DB52, this is slightly different. One thing I don't really like, honestly, is they moved the uh, air filter uh, housing, the air intake, and that's just a little tougher to get to. It does clean up and open up some more space in the uh, engine bay though for the, uh, uh, the new... Uh, throttle body and intake and everything and they did move the dipstick yellow dipstick right in the middle there to where you can actually reach it which is kind of cool so that is an improvement for sure over a db52 now if we come around to the passenger side they did add a little uh, step that has been there before on other models but uh, they added that back for the uh, da62s and uh, just to look under the passenger side here so you can definitely notice again if you're familiar with a uh, f6a engine in those db52s it was basically just a up Upgraded fuel injection engine, or uh, you know, they upgraded the fuel injection on the old F6A motors, whereas this is the new K6A engine, which is uh, basically a new a new setup altogether. So the last couple things they did is they actually did improve the uh, turning radius. They shortened it up uh, on the uh, on the DA62. Um, honestly, I don't know what they changed mechanically in the steering system to uh, to facilitate that. Um, really the only other thing you might notice is a little different is they added these insulated side panels. There's one on the uh, driver's side as well as on the passenger side. Now these are literally just plastic panels with a little bit of uh, kind of insulation in them. 
The only thing I can honestly say those might be for is uh, a little bit of noise reduction from the outside of the vehicle because they really don't uh, they don't do much from uh, from what else I can see there. But yeah, so that is the basically quick rundown of a DA62 uh, and how it differs from a DB52. And we do have a DA63 coming in the shop in a couple of weeks, so I'll be sure to uh, update and show you guys all the improvements that Suzuki made on the uh, DA63 body as well. So as always, we hope you enjoy our videos. Be sure to check out our website, foursonsoffroad.com, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And uh, make sure you like this video, comment on it as well if you'd like to see us feature uh, anything else.